go ahead and show you a couple examples of what it looks like to actually start a listing. So in this section, we're going to go ahead and look at what it looks like to sell an item, entering keywords to find the selling category, choose a category, enter your item title, upload photos, and paste and format item description. So starting a listing, this is pretty easy. So go to ebay.com, of course, and then up top you'll see a button that says sell, and you'll be able to see that on any eBay page. Go ahead and click the button that says list your item. And then go ahead and enter a few keywords, and then click search. And what eBay is going to do is it's going to try to find a category that matches those keywords that you put in. This is an automatic thing. So for example, if you went and entered in the Canon digital camera, it's going to go ahead and pull up the first choice, which says camera and photos, then underneath that it says digital cameras, which is the exact category that we need. And this will save you a lot of time so you don't have to manually look through all the different categories and then select the one that you want. After you find your category, another great thing that eBay does is it's going to take those keywords that you typed in, for example, Canon digital camera. Well, if you put a model number in there as well, it may automatically find your item in the catalog, eBay's catalog. So if your product is available in the eBay catalog, click the Sell Yours button. Your listing will have the key product details already filled in, which is a great time saver. If there is no product match, skip this step or add the information to the product details database. Now you have two options to choose your listing form. The first one, or I'm sorry, the second one is called Keep It, Keep it Simple, and it's a short form with selling essentials. So it's going to show you the auction format with a fixed price option and also up to four photos where the first one is free. Or the more advanced one, it says more listing choices. This includes more options that help you attract buyers and it gives you additional selling formats, also upgrades with extra photos. And of course all of those, uh, or I, should, I shouldn't say all, most of those you have to pay a little extra fee for. So product details in your listing. Like I mentioned before, you definitely want to be really descriptive with your description. So of your item, you want to make sure that you put the make, the model, how many megapixels. Well, the good thing is if it's already in eBay's uh, database, it's going to fill that information in for you automatically. So you can see this description here or this example. Uh, the product details, it says brand, Canon, type, point and shoot, megapixels 2.1, optical zoom, 2x, screen size, 1.5, and etc. So if you didn't have this in, uh, or if this it wasn't in eBay's catalog, you can enter this information in manually. And I definitely recommend doing because if someone is searching for your item, they might have a thousand different uh, Canon digital cameras to choose from. So on the left hand side of eBay's database, it's going to show a, a filter so they can break it down per megapixel or per, I don't know, extra, like extra battery or something along those lines. So filling those in will definitely get you more uh, searches or hits on your page. Add a descriptive item title using keywords. So we've already talked about this, but it definitely is essential to bring up again. You want to make sure that your title is filled with those keywords, but underneath that you're going to see condition. If it's used, make sure you're putting used. If it's new, make sure you're putting new. Now a lot of people say, if it's new to me, can I put new? No. So if you find an item in a thrift store, if it's used, you have to put used. Then underneath that, there's item specifics. So these are uh, extras that you can check mark. You can even make your own if you want to mainly type it in. But if you have an extra case or bag in this example, you want to make sure you check that. Or flash or extra battery. Anything that is uh, extra or goes along with the item that you're selling, you want to make sure that it's included in this section. Then using eBay's picture service. So we talked about how to make a professional looking photo. And we even talked about how to edit it. So if you're using BeFunky.com, they'll allow you to size it and crop it and rotate. But eBay actually does the same thing as well. So whenever you upload your photo, you're gonna be you're gonna see an option to crop your photo. So if you take the, took the picture, you thought it looked good, maybe when you get it into eBay, you're gonna see that uh, it needs to be cropped a little bit. You're gonna have the option to do that in this section. And then I always recommend adding as many photos as you can. So I know the rules recently changed where they went from one photo to now several photos are allowed for free. And make sure you're definitely using that service because people buy off of what the photo looks like. Lastly is the description editor. So this is where you're going to basically sell the customer on what you have. 
So you want to make sure that you're honest and truthful in here, but also descriptive. But they also make it a little bit easier to uh, draw the attention in on a certain section of your description. So you're allowed to use bold or underline. You can change the font color. You can change the font size. Uh, you can even add a bulleted list or even insert links to other listings. Just to summarize this section, we talked about choosing the appropriate category for your item. Also, use product details and item specifics whenever available. That really will bring in more views for your listing. Create a title with relevant keywords. I know we've talked about this several times during this DVD, but it definitely is essential that you're using keywords whenever you have your description or your title. And then provide a clear and detailed description.